see that in just a second. If you're joining us, sorry about that. We have just a little hiccup. Look, there we are. <laughs> it worked. Yay. So let us know when you get here and make sure that you um, that you share. Share, share, share. Everything looks so much better. Here comes everybody. Sorry about that. You know, sometimes we hiccup and we hiccup today. Let's hope that's the only hiccup. So say hello. Let us know you're here, guys. I know there's a delay. Good morning, Kate. How are you? Excited that you're here. Let's see. And at 7 a.m. Hey, Roshi, how are you? Are you doing any better? Hey, doggy bag biscuits. Welcome, welcome. How does it feel to be on this side of things? <laughs> Very nervous. <laughs> Gilda, hello. Lisa, hello. Welcome, welcome. Rashi, you didn't call me last night. Hopefully you fell asleep. Donna, howdy. Oh, I like howdy. Oh, good. I'm glad you're doing better. I um, I moved your live. So you're not Thursday. I don't think you need to worry about that. We'll schedule you on another time. Um, Kate, it's wet and cold here. You're in Australia, and it's just wet and nice here, warm here <laughs> and humid in Virginia. Hello, Shirley. Welcome. We have Eliana here with us. Gosh, I love that name. If I had to do it all over with Jackie, Jackie would be an Eliana. <laughs> Aww. But she's really not. She She's not. Ileana to me is sweet and nice. That's not my daughter. <laughs> She'll tell you the same thing. <laughs> Keisha, hello, Jalissa, hello. Hello, Bianca. Make sure you guys share. It's time to share. This is the time we just share everywhere. We share the love. So, yeah, because it helps us with all the, um, you know, questions and things people ask. So, we wait till about five after. Um, we're a little bit beyond that, but we had a little hiccup. Carol Ann, there you are. Part of the Texas crew. And Gloria also is from San Antonio. Eliana, are you from, where in Texas are you from? San Antonio. That's what I thought. So Gloria, you know Gloria then. And everybody knows Carol Ann. Yes, we do. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, so glad you guys are here today. So I'm going to start moving forward. I know we had a hiccup in the beginning, so people will start to join us. It looks like everyone's jumping on. Um, as you all know, I'm Debbie, and I am the founder of Icing Images, and um, I am Sita from Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome. Hello, Susan. And Sai, hello from Virginia, or Silk Sill, sorry. And, oh, Carolyn, you had a birthday. Happy birthday. Everybody send some hearts to Carolyn. She, she aged one year in one day. <laughs> she said she did it yesterday. Okay. So as I said, I'm the founder of Icing Images, and I'm excited to have Liliana with us. For, for a whole year, I pronounced her name wrong. Um, somebody corrected me once, but then I just continued to do it wrong. <laughs> She's a very patient person um, just because of that, but I'm excited because um, I saw some of the things that she was doing and I thought it would be great to have her on so that she could share some of her talents with us. Um, I know a lot of you all know her, especially the Texas group. Um, so you know how, you know, it, it's like really cool to have her on. I love um, when I see people's creations and then to be able to invite them on and they accept. <laughs> 
this is really good. So, um, Ileana, tell me what are you um, what are you creating today? Today we're going to do some 3D flowers. Um, uh -huh. using smart paper and our wafer paper. I was trying to think of ways to use a smart paper because it's a new product and allows for us to work ahead and put our cakes or decorations in the fridge and not have okay. to place items at the last minute. So I figured it's a great idea and I got inspired by graduation cap. Um, and I go, I want to see that as an edible aspect of it. And I challenge myself to let's try a new gadget and it works. Yay. So now, the, just so you're aware, the smart sheets are on back order. They are getting ready to come to us, um, but it's going to take probably another two weeks just to be safe. Um, now, the smart sheets are one of our newer sheets, and they do not have sugar in them. They do not have a backing. They almost feel like cardboard to the touch. Um, and then the, when you hit them with the paper potion, they get really, really soft. Um, you have to use more paper potion than you do on a wafer. Um, and they kind of cross with the wafer, but um, they handle moisture really, really well. So um, so we also have the wafer paper. It comes in different colors. You guys have seen that. And so I'm ready to see what you're doing or do. Let's, let's go. Okay, then bear with me as I try to turn this down. Here we go. Can you see everything okay, Deb? I can see it. Are you able to bring it down a little bit? Because you kind of seem far away. Well, you're in Texas, so I guess that is far. Sorry, bad joke. There we go. I just made it bigger on my screen. Whoa, well, okay. That's good. Probably not much closer than that. That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh my gosh, I've seen those before. This, you guys are, this is really cool. I know what she's doing. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. Okay, cool. Because I'm still i still learning. But I had so much fun uh, doing it. And I figured, okay, let's try this. So I used my Cricut to pre-cut all these different flowers. Um, most of us have seen them on a flower box using cardstock and also probably have seen this kind of inspiration piece of it. That's really pretty. So um, we're going to copy some of these um, using the wafer paper and the smart sheet. Awesome. Because that's... Um one quick announcement just so you're aware we recently updated our printer kits and our print and cut um, kits as well that actually happened today so if you've been in the market we actually were finally able to lower the price um so if it's something you're looking at now's a good time check out their packages as well okay. so you you use the cricket to cut those yes ma'am i use the cricket and the cricket design space Mm -hmm. have available and for the smart sheet you I use the light cardstock cut to be able to give me clean cuts to be able to work with it that makes sense. trial and error to learning the pressures of how much we need and stuff like that yeah so Donna says that she's done those out of cardstock but never thought about doing those out of an edible paper and um it's very true. And almost anything you can do in paper, you can do edible. I am learning that, yes. And then here is another set. And this one's out of their, your pink wafer paper. Mm -hmm. And now when we do use a wafer paper, I've used where I have to use a tiny bit of paper potion as I'm rolling it. Mm -hmm. Just It's a lot more delicate than the smart sheet. Because a smart sheet, you're able to roll, and the wafer paper, we have to soften it to roll. 
And that's the reason why you use the paper potion. That's a perfect reason. It's way for paper conditioner. Okay, so we'll get to rolling this one. Um, I, let's see, I always start at the end. You can either use your Cricut tweezers to start at the end of the cut. Uh huh. And you just start rolling it. So that's on the outside. What did you search for to find that, that type of flower? Because right now it doesn't look like a flower. I search for 3D flowers. And, and that's under Cricut Design Space, right? Cricut Design Space. And it, blue will pick, will come up. I just picked the three that I really found attractive that I go, ooh, I want to try those. So I just use that to kind of start me off. And then I'm just rolling it in between my fingers. And I figured, hey, this is a good way to work on flowers while watching my favorite soap or TV series while my kids <laughs> are cooling. And in a few minutes, it's rolled. And it, I'm just simply rolling it and I'm just holding it with my bottom finger to help hold it together. And as you can see, it comes together very quickly. When I come towards the end, this is the end part of it. I'll get a little bit of the honey glue. Yep, that's the, these products. We actually sell that now. Little Honey's glue. Yes, ma'am. And I will post it up. It's great glue. And That's I just put it little bit on the curve. And then I just circle in the middle because this will hold everything in place. So I will come around. One. See how the tab. And just put everything there. Hold it for a few seconds. Kind of open up a few of the little petals as I let go. You kind of un go a little counterclockwise, a little bit. And it's done. Oh, wow. Can you hold that up closer to the camera for me, please? Oh, yeah. Bring it towards you just a little bit. There we go. That's great. Just hold it still and the camera will focus. That's great. Look at how easy that was to do. And then without having much of a waiting time, I'll go, I'm using my uh, Sugar Art Elite Colors. Okay, we love the Sugar Art. And you can then just start to paint whatever color you want your flowers to be. The simple dust and it picks up where you want. Now you could take that dust and you can um, use a little paper potion, it'll make a paint. So I just gave it a depth of a light to dark ombre. That's awesome. Well, that's simple, huh, guys? So let's see, paper potion. Now, Paper Potion does come in two sizes. Now we have our regular size and our jumbo size. There's a little Paper Potion that I added on this side. And you can see the difference of the depth when I added to the blue tips on this side. I like how it highlights it so easily, you know? And you can make whatever rainbow colors you like, as many as you want. Um, just prep your mats to cut throughout the afternoon while you're baking. And then you, during chill time, you just sit and roll flowers. <laughs> I bet it's very um, 
oh, what's the word? It's relaxing, but it just kind of puts you in the zone. Yeah, and this is one of the smaller ones. On the smaller one, um, it does take a little bit of more patience because it is um, what I've learned. It tends to break a little bit more. You could um, throw some paper potion on that as well, and that would help stop it from breaking. Um, I don't know, several weeks ago, I sprayed, sorry, I'm just grabbing up some, some paper potion on the smart sheets, um, and these have been sitting out, but um, you can see I can just crumble it up and open it back up. And it's been sitting out for weeks because I don't clean up after myself. Okay, I just sprayed it with paper potion. Let's see how much more. Oh, huh, I can roll a little bit faster. Yep. And if you let it set a little longer, it will actually really become soft. Um, you have to use more paper potion than you do with wafer. Um, wafer just absorbs it real quick, whereas the uh, smart sheets take a little bit of long, longer. But yeah, look at you go. <laughs> yeah, I was worried. I'm like, oh my gosh, this one always breaks. Because that's uh, when I tried to do a sunflower, uh -huh. it was a little thinner of a cut. I was like, uh, I'm afraid to get it too wet. No, nah, it can handle. It can so handle the moisture. That's why we use it with the PYO palettes. And as you can see, it came together a lot quicker once I added the one spray of paper potion. You all have any questions so far? I love the dimension that the edible paper brings to um, to to edible products. You know, it's not just gum paste. And look at that; those are so cute. Love it. So now this there's. I'll switch over to a wafer paper one. And this one is, it used, it's a, I call it a roll plus because we're gonna roll part of it and then we get to add petals around it to give it the additional dimensions. Oh, cool. And you cut all those with the Cricut so you pretty much were doing something else while it was cutting. Yes, ma'am. All right, so Lori wants to know if you tried to print on the smart sheet before you cut it into the flower shape. Yes, you can do it because it'll, it'll um, it's gonna print out the outline, like if you want the, your flower to have like a little border. Uh-huh. Like on this one, I hand colored the border, but if I use the print so I can guide it, but I don't see why not. Yeah, if you use eye designs on it, it'll just pick up the pattern. And so um, it won't, um, it'll just, it will have that pattern throughout showing different colors. Um, and Gilda says she's made cardstock flowers, so she is excited to do this. Um, Donna wants to know what settings did you say you use for each type of paper? And I believe that information is also on our mats when you use our food safe mat because you had to use that food safe mat, correct? Yes, ma'am. It's still here. Um, our food safe mat, and I used um, a little bit of masking tape to double secure my wafer paper all the way around mm -hmm. um, so I can load it onto the Cricut. But for wafer paper, I use the second dot on paper. I don't know the pressure point. I know it's the second one. Hold on. Um, it's paper. <laughs> it says paper, but there's like three dots. It's the one in the middle. Oh, I got you. So you went paper and then over one is what it looks like. Yes, ma'am. For the smart sheets, I used the light cardstock, the first, the first dot. Okay. 
Now, one thing I will mention is with the Cricut um, or any electronic cutter, a lot depends on the humidity or dryness in your area as to how it's going to cut. If it's more humid, it actually makes it um, harder to cut, um, but that's okay. You just, you just adjust it a little bit. Um, the maker, um, I'm sure they have similar settings. Like she used the one, one dot, one, one, I guess it's one dot. So I'm not sure how that, it, it made it a little bit harder, I guess, or more pressure um, than paper and then cardstock would be a little bit beyond that. But it will vary based on your humidity and dryness. So keep that in mind. Sydney's on. Hey, Sydney. Hi, Sydney. So as I waited a few seconds for the wafer paper. And on this one, I do use both hands because I'm just so careful when rolling because it is soft, but I can still roll. And a little dab of little honey's glue. Glad you made it, Sydney. We always like you on. And there's the little wafer paper one. Oh, that's so cute. So it could be done out of either one. We used to do those um, out of icing sheets too. But then we came out with all these other papers and it makes it easier with the proper type of paper. And that is the center part to this one. And then and I did pre-cut these. What's kind of cool is now I get to add a few more petals and make it fuller. Now here I'm just using all my wafer paper scraps and it is my wafer paper glue container. And why are you using that as opposed to the glue or the paper potion? Because I wanted to give us a second option in case we not everybody had our honey glue. Great. And I love that you're using your scraps. We were just talking to a customer today who was using the print and cut feature and it doesn't use the whole sheet. And I said, just about every time we go live, somebody tells us how to use the scraps of the paper in a different way. And that's all you did. What did you do? You, you just added water to the wafer or how did you make that glue? I just shoved all my scraps in there and added about two tablespoons of water and just let it sit overnight. Okay, that's great. Because I, it, it does, I hate to say it does create a lot of um, waste, but I know with waste, I know Melinda made last week with her pieces, she was able to make a decorated cookie you know, this, we can make glue, make little Maj Posh cookies like Melinda showed us last week. Um, so I try to keep as many scraps as possible for any future projects or even just color matching. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, that's, that's but that's why I truly love these lives is everyone shares a little secret, <laughs> you know? So for the, for the additional petals I'm going to add on, I did go ahead and just spray them with paper potion because I need them to be a little bit more flexible as I'm going to cup them. And by cupping, it has a little slit. I don't know if y'all can see the slit. And I'll put a little bit of glue and cup it. Where did you put the slit? Or I guess it was part of the flower. It it's part of the flower, but it's almost dead center. Okay. The slit. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue and go, you can go right over left, left over right. It's okay. It's just so getting... the flower pattern that you found was in the Cricut design space and you just 
Google or not Google, if you just searched under Cricut Design Space for 3D flowers and these patterns came up. Yes, ma'am. They have quite a few patterns and I will send you the list of the numbers. So if you want to go directly to that number, it'll pop it up. Okay. Um, Harriet is asking what the shelf life is for the glue and the glue that she's referring to here is the wafer paper glue, not the little honey's glue. Hers molds after a couple days. I've had mine going on five days already, but I've never actually timed it. I yeah. mine's in a rubber made container. I made it last week. And did you refrigerate it or leave it at room temperature? No, it's been room temperature. Okay. How do you store yours, Harriet? She'll let us know. So now that I went ahead and cupped all my little flowers, I'm going to the center and we're going to add And I want to get added on. It's a little slippery, guys. Slippery. So Harriet leaves hers in Tupperware container on her workbench, so you're not refrigerating it either. Um, mold likes darkness and moisture, and so it may have to do with the lighting of the environment. What do you all think? Love to get some feedback on that. So when I add these, I like to look at it upside down is I'll do our crisscross. So I know that I'm doing my four, my, my little cross. And you can see the new layer of it. That really does broaden it quite a bit. And then when I'm go to my second layer, I'm going to go in between and a tiny bit out because it only gives you two little layers. And of course, on the Cricut, it only gives you enough to give, you know, the little flower that it's supposed to be designed with. If you like petals like me, I tend to overcut so I can have oodles of layers. And that's an option in design space, correct? Yes. You can I, print one of the sheets several times if you want, or cut one of the sheets several times. Correct. And then there is our little. Oh, bring it to, yeah, there you go, right there. Oh, that, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And if you add more paper potion to your outer layer, it also allows you to give that little curl depth that we all like to do with our little flowers. Uh -huh. So Harriet's thinking it was cross-contamination from the sugar from the paper maybe. Um, but that wouldn't explain why yours doesn't and hers does. I'm just thinking it has to do with darkness. And it could be the amount of water that you're putting it in or putting in it. Any thoughts from anybody? Huh. Now I'm, I'm going to time it and I'll let you know, Deb. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that yours has been there since last week, so. Yes. And of course, that, let's see, where was I? And now I'm going to go over to our little butterflies. Because I did, I know on mine, this is, um, I used the smart sheet and I airbrushed this because I didn't have pink. So I could do my little pink pink butterflies on my sample. Oh so yeah. I did a very light airbrush 
and I did it on both sides. And I let it dry for 15 minutes on each side just to be safe because I wasn't ready yeah. to work on it. So it now, is, you can airbrush it. Yeah, that smart sheet is pretty, pretty tough. I like that it offers a sugar free option for people. Yes, ma'am. So for my you don't have to call me ma'am. It's, <laughs> no, it's a bad habit my mom raised me on. Well, I, it's a good habit, but <laughs> I just. Um, I think even one of my oldest friends is on, and I still call her ma'am, and we've been friends for almost 20 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, for our little butterfly, uh, I used the ring, the ring finger butterflies because it gives you two little dimensions that you can use. And I'm using my edible markers to add little free range butterfly graphics on it. Since we can use markers to color. And I'm putting a link up for that too. <laughs> so um, don't forget that we do have a 10% off code. It's a special coupon code. And the code is scrolling right below. It's good for a week. Um, and take advantage of it because we all like to save. You all are quiet tonight. Does that mean I'm boring? No, it usually means they're mesmerized. They're like staring, you know? They all leave if you're boring. They haven't left. <laughs> so I just did a quick little color to add to our stuff. But so when you glue it, Yep, Harriet, Harriet said that she's intrigued. She's exactly right. And, you know, that's what happens when... I just people... my little butterfly over a bigger butterfly, put a little bit of glue down, and now it gives us a 2D option of a butterfly. Oh, wow. Can you turn it sideways a little bit so people can see the lift? Oh yeah, you have it. <laughs> Very awesome. cool, that's great. So now they're talking. <laughs> they didn't like that you said you were boring. They don't agree. Um, Nancy, the smart sheets are still out of stock about another week to two weeks. They're on their way. It's just um, shipping is still adversely affected by COVID and so things are taking longer. Barbara says your flower is so pretty and Kate says you're very interesting and Nancy said oh no you're not boring at all I'm absolutely loving this and Carol Ann says lovely uh, and I think also on um, if there's like a pattern that you like you can also pre-print all your butterflies like if someone likes a particular design of a butterfly you can print it out and then load that pre-printed onto your Cricut and cut it out in case you no, don't print and cut. Anything. So here's, I'm gonna try this other flower that was, here's one of the big flowers that I did earlier. Uh huh. So you can go big. Wow. You like a few big roses on the cake that you just wanna place on. And you can add tons of le extra leaves if you want to. Yes. Yes, of course. So um, Blake sent a message, and I have to do it in his seven up voice. What's up? Oh, Blake, congratulations on your on your groundbreaking. I know. I saw that too. It's so exciting. He's always up to something, and it's pretty amazing the 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 impact that he's making in his in the area that he lives in. He's really. Uh, Make, he's making an impact. <laughs> and Nancy, we will want, we will take it um, off of back order once we have a date as to when they're coming in. 
So if you watch for that, go ahead and order when they're on back order. Always order when things are on back order with us, if it allows you to order. If it's allowing you to order when it's on back order, it means it's coming. Um, if it's not allowing you, it means we don't have a date, so we're not going to promise anything. <laughs> So that's easier because it's so big and that's on a smart sheet, right? Yes, I went to a smart sheet because um, I wanted to try to find something kind of South Texas with little um, cactus or succulent type. And this was the closest that I could find. And I wanted to show that it does work with also our other Hey, Blake, we need to have you back on again. You have not been on for a while. We'll have to get a date together. We're out into June right now, but it comes and goes really fast. <laughs> so we just counterclockwise it a little bit, and then we have our little succulent peaks. Oh, look, that's so cool. I like that it's spun like that. It kind of, first of all, it was cool but it really made, it just looks nice. What do y'all think? And then you could actually airbrush that like that, couldn't you? Yes, you can. Yeah. And for some of those, I know not everybody will have a Cricut and I just tried this out earlier is I used, I ordered some embossing templates on Amazon. Actually, you know what? What? Um, I was looking at that, what you were making, and I thought that I had, we actually, um, for a long time, sold food safe dyes just like that. And we still have some on our site. Um, and so you're going to show what you're going to do with them. But we have, we, you know, there's a bunch of them. They're all like $5 a set. They're really, really inexpensive. I thought we had a flower like that, but I guess I never got the pattern for it. But I'll put the link up. Check it out because it makes what she's got and what she's showing you, it's very inexpensive on our site. Let's show them how they work. And this one, I just got a piece of wafer paper. And I'm just getting a, I have an old Cricut bone folder. You can use your favorite scissors. You can use the back of a Cricut. Basically anything little firm to give the pressure. And you just simply And we did a live with, oh, who was it? I can picture Mar Marty Yurak that also showed this. Um, so you can actually go to our Icing Images Facebook page and click on videos and it makes it really easy to search through. Um, and you're looking for the one that we did with Marty. I wanna say it was towards the end of last year. I guess that was one that I missed, whoops. And then I just simply popped out so was that a blade that you were using no it's a little bone folder i don't know what that is i've never um, <laughs> is it, it like a letter opener go um, kind of i found it in the scrapbook section and uh -huh. you make your folds into your to your card stock oh and it'll give you a little flower. I just switched because I was getting impatient. <laughs> <laughs> I had done it earlier in white. Yeah. So. so it worked on both the smart sheet and the wafer. Yes, ma'am. So here's on the smart sheet. Are you able to see that? And yeah. then on the wafer paper. Now on these, when, when you put it together, it is a little different because this requires kind of like 
the cardstock technique when you're making your flower mm -hmm. versus the roll. It's you start off with a petal tucked in first when let me know if we are running out of time. You're good. We actually have, um, and it's just like that, um, or very similar, Rose Creation. It's item 29 under those food safe dyes that has, it actually has one, two, three, four, five, six layers, and then a couple of leaves for five bucks. And it's a food safe dye kit. Um, just like that. I guess I will be ordering me a set because I don't have it. Yeah, and it's, it's just we're, um, we're gonna sell out of them and we're not gonna carry them anymore. But it's just, I'm like looking, I'm like, I know we have it, I know we have it. Um, and then you can use the coupon too and save even more. There's a bunch of them. You're gonna die because some of the ones we have, um, they cut on the inside, but not cut it out. So you can actually fold it up and so you can have the flat flower with part of it folded up on the inside. It's really cool. You're going to love those. So then there is the little rose bud. How cute. And then, of course, you know, for every additional dye that you go up, you just keep adding around it. Yeah. But I did a quick one. That's great. Gilda loves what you're doing. You got them all mesmerized again. They're staring. Uh, so what are those butterflies, those pink butterflies you have up in your upper, I think it's your right hand corner. That's, yeah, that, what's that? This I was using for a backup <laughs> because I learned how to actually, I was in case we get impatient is I can actually emboss my wafer paper with the actual design of the butterfly and it will actually work. Let me see. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of paper potion. Yep, that's what I was gonna say, spray it. Wait a few seconds. So that's why I'm not a decorator because I'm too impatient. And I, you know, I tried Je when Jesse and Riley did the um, that uh, edible plastic. I couldn't do it because I was so impatient. I had to have somebody else in my office who's much more artistic than I am. She did it, and it worked fine. Let's see. And I know because I pressed a little too hard, but you can see the slight embossing of it. Oh yeah. And then you just cut around it. That's pretty. Let's see if I can get another cut. Everybody's driving tonight. Gilda was driving too. Ah. We will try again. How many of you all that are watching have been on um, our clubhouse on Friday night? I'm still trying to join. Do you, do you have an Apple product, like an Apple iPhone or? Yes, I do. Okay, so download the app and then message me your phone number and I will send you an invite. And that goes for anybody that's watching. I'll do that for anybody. Yeah, Blake's driving too. He's delivering orders. <laughs> oh, so see how it gets embossed. That's so cool. So as a back can also use your fondant embossers at work as well. Yeah. And I did cut out some leaves. Now these were also cut out with the Cricut. We have leaves just like that too and the Spellbinder. So if you don't have a Cricut, check out those dyes that we have. That's so funny. I'm like, I know that. There's uh, so I much crossover. Real, I guess I didn't scroll far enough on our on your page that you had the product. Well, it's not something that we heavily advertise. It's an older product um, because most people are going electronic just like you. And honestly, um, 
you know, with the cricket, you can cut anything out. So you don't really need the dyes. It's for people that don't have the cricket. Oh, uh, we, um, you're leaving us, Gilda. Okay, you can uh, catch up the end of this because um, we're going to repost it on our Facebook page. Um, so you'll be able to check out the end because sometimes I say things that nobody knows about till the end and I save it there. So <laughs> thank you for joining us, Gilda. Um, but we just recently uh, added a package with you know, the print and cut, because um, I always talk about how I love the print and cut, um, using an edible printer with your electronic cutter, because um, it just, it's just it offers you so much, so much more that you can do without, you know, it, it's like hiring an extra person. Um, and so we coupled it with the entry level printer now, and it was able to bring the prices down. And we actually just put the prices down on our printers as well. So um, with the electronic cutter, you can do anything you want. And you know that, right, um, Eliana? Yes, I am, I am learning more about my cutter. And what's weird is that I had the first Cricut cutter, but I was into scrapbooking. Mm -hmm. So, and then I stopped because I went into baking and now that it's like, ooh, I remember what this can do. Mm -hmm. And everything food safe, which is perfect. Yep. So if you have a Cricut, um, it could be the maker too. We have on our site a, um, it's a kit that basically is a conversion kit and it'll have the food, food safe mat and some other products as well. That's on our site. So here I just had some leaves that I cut out. I went ahead and dusted it with some quick green um, dust. There, there you go. And I'm going to just add it to, and this is a smart sheet. And I just add a little bit of glue and make it into a little. Ta-da. Ta -da. So now you took this then and you created, uh, hold on, guys. <coughs> sorry. Um, and you put it on a, is that a cake board or is that something you would make with gum paste? You can make it out of gum paste. You can uh -huh. make it out of um, the graduation hat. This one's a dummy. Okay. But it's covered um, with a super thin black fondant on there. Okay. Here, show it again because it's pretty. <laughs> there you go. That is so cute. You could put the names on it of people. I um, mean, I could see for a graduating class, that would be so adorable. Thank you, Carol Fisher. <laughs> yeah, so. That is so cute. And, and you I, have them standing off too. This cap, I know there's also, you can make it out of chocolate because I have the chocolate mold for it. Mm -hmm. And then you can make it even more scrumptious. Oh yeah, those are really <laughs> awesome graduation treats and that's, huh? that's all my playtime that's your playtime you did good you're like right up to the um we'll end like on time because you know i have to talk yeah. <laughs> i was i i tried to set my timer i gotta got, i can't be so nervous i gotta let debbie talk too oh yeah you know i'll talk i don't know whether that's a good thing or not <laughs> Um, so y'all who want a cricket that don't have one, guess what? I'm waiting for guesses. <laughs> um, we're going to, we're giving one away. You're right. We have a contest going on right now and it's, uh, you can find information on our Facebook, in our emails, or also, um, on, um, or what do you call it? Um, Instagram. Um, and it's very easy to join. Um, and I want somebody that's on our lives and our audience to win, but I have no control over it. Let's see your beautiful face. Can you bring the camera back up? Um, so go and join and there's ways to get extra chances. And, and I really want somebody that's here tonight to win. That would make me so happy. Um, Rebecca is praying for it <laughs> and she enters every day. Awesome. I hope you went. Well, I hope everybody went, but only one person can. 
Um, but we love giving stuff away. I mean, I, I, I enjoy it. I like to see everyone get excited for it. Um, and then of course the winner is like awesome. So, so yeah, make sure you enter. Don't forget we got the coupon code be below. Um, we recently added the chameleon colors of the artisan accents line of products. This is not the chameleon color, but it's what I have. They're great colors. That's a new ad that we had in addition to the change in the printers as well. You're welcome, Kate. Um, so um, Thursday, we have Jennifer Frey, and she actually lives maybe 10 minutes from me. Her daughter actually works for us. Um, and she's going to be joining us. If you ever saw, there was an installation piece in SoFo a couple years ago. I think it was two years ago. Could be three. The pandemic messed me up. Um, and she did this beautiful dress out of Flex Frost. Um, and I think she used wafer on it as well. So she is going to be demonstrating some parts of that as well. So um, so make sure that uh, that you catch us on Thursday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Um, Masu, I only have an iPad. Can I not use that with an edible printer? All right, so you can use your iPad with the Cricut, very easy to use, with your edible printer as well. You can't use iPrint with the iPad, but that's okay because we actually have uh, set up instructions for that. So you just use a different printing program. That's all. Um, you can use the Cricut printing program. So yes, you can, Masu. Um, so um, yeah. And then Friday, 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 we have our clubhouse. And as I said, um, Ileana, you're going to um, just download the app on your phone if you have an Apple product, either an iPad or your iPhone, and then message me your phone number, and then I will I will connect, I'll get you your invite. Um, so I have plenty of invites, and I will keep inviting people because I love when you guys join me. So thank you, my dear. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it, and I love all your products. Oh, thank you. And I didn't pay her to say that. <laughs> If you are interested in doing a live and you have a unique idea, please let me know. Um, I just, I love, I mean, spending time with everybody and it's more, it's fun like this because I see names all the time, but then I have a face and it's really kind of cool. Thank you, Barbara Anderson. So you all stay safe and um, decorate like crazy. <laughs> and we will see you on Thursday. God bless you all.